Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Fable 3. Uh, before we jump into doing anything in Morningwood, uh, I just wanted to show everybody that has been keeping up with the series. Um, I did a little uh, maintenance work in the Dweller Camp, uh, so one of my goals is to start just buying uh, properties with all of the gold coins that I can make. Uh, last episode, we bought the Entrepreneur Pack, uh, which allowed me to buy businesses, so I went ahead and bought Albion Inc., uh, a tattooist, uh, and I'm getting 104 coins off of that every five minutes. Uh, so, and then I also bought a, uh, the House of Riddles, another house. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm broke, as you can see from the left side of the screen there. I only have 19 coins now, so hopefully while we're doing this mission, uh, I get some of that coinage back. Uh, and we can keep the uh, the good times rolling. Uh, but yeah, so uh, the goal is to start off with uh, the Dweller Camp, buy all of the caravans, all of the businesses, and what not. Um, and what not. Man, that house condition is only 0%. Uh, and what not in the Dweller Camp. There's not too many of them here. Uh, it doesn't look like... So yeah, so Dweller Camp, and then uh, maybe I'll start off in uh, Brightwall and whatnot, buying some uh, some businesses and houses there once I get a little, uh, you know, get the uh, the good, good the good coinage rolling. Uh, but anyway, we are here in Morningwood. Man, how many coins? I'm making a little less than little less than 400 coins a turn. Uh, so that's or uh, a turn uh, every five minutes. So that's not too bad. Uh, if you consider, like, an episode is maybe, like, 15, 15, 20 minutes, uh, I should make, do the calculation, and you know, I'll carry the one, should make about 1,600 gold coins, <laughs> and we should make about 1,600 gold coins an episode. Anyway, enough about math and economics and, uh, real estate, let's go ahead and talk to some of the people around the camp, as, uh, Sir Walter suggested. If anybody will actually talk to us. Always look out for sales. You never know when I'll put one. Ooh, a uh, health potion. I feel like we should buy some of those. Um, no, I don't really want to go in there. Can oh, can I not go to the? Uh... Huh? It won't take me back. To... Oh, sorry guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm not really too sure why that won't take me back to the the sanctuary. It's a little a little annoying, uh, but that's okay. If you need cheering up, talk to Captain Finn. Oh, so these things aren't even moving. How am I gonna hit a hollow man? I don't know, man. Uh. Maybe that guy's not the best. One day I'll compose a great symphony for loot and orchestra about our great deeds here. Hey buddy, uh, can I get in on this? How do I do expressions? Oh, I can't do expressions until I, like, have an official talk button to people, I guess. I'm the only person in the regiment with a hammer. That's how I got my nickname. Trevor. Okay... All right, well, uh, t Trevor, hopefully you hammer a little bit faster so that we can, uh, Look, survive this. He's doing it again. Hey, Grove, what's this one about? Come on, tell us a story. Oh, you wouldn't like it. Violence, swearing, drunken orgies. Yeah? Yeah, it has none of those. Some of the words are really long. Hey, I get by fine with short ones. In fact, I'm thinking of a few right now. <laughs> How can you read at a time like this? We could all be dead by morning. I promised Captain Finn I'd read a few chapters of the autobiography he's working on. And I don't break promises. Dead or not. <sighs> what a sycophant. Sick or what? You want to do more reading instead of making up words. Alright. Uh, good talk, guys. Good talk. Uh, anyway... I guess let's go up. I'm not sure why uh, Sir Walter had suggested that I go around and talk to some of the people around here to get to know the men that I will be fighting with. They, uh... 
don't really seem to uh, say all that much, and it's not really filling me with much confidence anyway. Can I avoid this? <laughs> I'm gonna go see what's over here. Uh, nothing. Nothing's over here. That's great. Really glad I came over here. Alright, Captain Finn. I don't suppose you've ever used a mortar before? There's nothing to it. There's always a slight chance of maiming, of course, but um, I'm sure you'll pick it up. First, I'd like you to meet Private Jammy. He'll be your loader. Pleasure to meet you. There's two to say about me, you know. Jammy is soldier in Albion. 724 wounds and still standing. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get used to him. After a while, he's hardly revolting at all. Right, Jammy. It's time to show him the ropes. Yes, sir. Right then. My life's going to be in your hands, so let's make sure you you know what you're doing, okay? Go on, grab the mortar, and we'll do some practice shots. Ah, uh, grab the mortar. Okay. Oh, I always forget that I gotta hold the A button down and then release. Right, let's see what you've got. See that scarecrow over there? Blow it up. Yeah, that's right. Let's blow it to buggery. Come on. Uh, I don't really think there's any frame rate issues. I just think that this is the way that the stupid thing moves. All right, uh, L to aim, A to fire. Yes. Killed it. Yes. Boom. <laughs> you see that? You see it? That scarecrow's a goner. Beautiful. On to the next one. Trying to see like the uh, the sideways, my range, I guess, on this thing. The uh, the circle as it hits like the the walls that you can't aim it to, it's, it it kind of sticks, and that's kind of annoying. Anyway, little pet peeve. Oh, <laughs> oh goodbye, Mr. Scarecrow. That was bloody brilliant. All right, Jammy, don't get too excited. You know what happens when you do. Let's just take care of the last one. Just one left. Thank God. I don't remember setting this one up. Uh-oh. Oh, that's a lot of, uh... That is a lot of controller vibration. Holy crap. Stop firing! Yes, sir! Let's yes, roll these buggers to smithereens. All right, so I got like full range on this mortar now. Oh, that's nice. Pure club. There's some more coming from the right. Man, Jammy oh, is really loading this thing very quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy crap, there's a lot of them. <laughs> Jamie, stop telling me left and right. I was just aiming at the left. I feel like it's it's probably better to take out like large groups of them at once if I can. Wow. There we go. Yeah, I know, man. They're coming from the right. Buddy, I was just looking to the right. I was just shooting over there. I'm handling it, Jamie. Alright, I'm just kind of, like, patrolling. Once you get back this deep with the mortar, oh, that's a good one. Once you get like deep in the mortar, it's it's more difficult to shoot uh, or like strafe left to right with the mortar. But as soon as you get closer, it's a little bit easier. And the best way to, uh, it looks like the best way to do it is get them as soon as they spawn when they're all together and not moving. Oh, 
How many freaking mortars do we have here? Holy crap. I wonder if these, uh, I wonder if these hollow men kills... I wonder if this counts for my pistol, or do I gotta kill them with the, uh, the bone, uh, smasher pistol that we found last episode. I'm gonna assume that it doesn't, but also, at the same time, it might. Who knows? Oh wow, they all disappeared. All right, I'm here. Uh, I was here. Captain Flynn's not holding anything. Captain Flynn? What exactly are you gonna shoot him with, buddy? Guys, is anybody else con is anybody else concerned that Captain Flynn is not holding a gun? Game time. Oh, this pistol this pistol's kind of good. It's a one-hit kill for these hollow mans. The small ones, at least. Man, we are getting overrun. Holy crap. I need to call in one of my ice tornadoes. Let's do it. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. So last episode, I mentioned that the, uh, the vortex that we were summoning didn't have any, like, ice shards. That one did have an ice shard, though. What happens if the zombie dust gets in your eyes? What windows are they coming through? <laughs> the guy playing the loot over here is like smacking hollow men with his loot and he's doing a damn fine job of it. Good job, soldier. I'm basically just tapping the Y button right now. Oh shoot, I shot him in the back, I think. I'm sorry, guys. I accidentally, I tried to do summon creature and I turned off friendly fire. Or I turned on friendly fire, I guess I should say, and I shot the loot guy in the back. Oops. Did not mean it. Okay, so my summons are Hobbs now. They used to be Beetles, so it looks like they might be getting upgraded. Oh, hey guys. Oh, these guys look armored. But still killing them in one hit. Uh, this is just basically me hitting the Y button a bunch of times. Oh no! Oh no, Jammy! Was I supposed to keep him alive? What is this hollow man doing behind me? What the heck? Was Jammy supposed to stay alive or does he always die? Just kind of curious. I'm a little upset that Jammy's dead. He was the best mortar loader in the, all the lands. Where's the guy with the hammer? I need you to build uh, new fortifications. I don't think I've ever, I don't think I got hit once in that entire battle.
Can we not celebrate the life of Jamie? I specifically instructed you to remain buried. Oh, doesn't anyone follow orders anymore? Uh oh. Holy crap. Uh, that's not good. Oh, and he shoots out Hollow Men? Well, I can shoot some people out too. Go get them, Hobbs. Oh, can he block my shots? And he's shooting out lightning? What kind of BS is that? <laughs> Go get him, Ice Tornado. Oh, man, that Ice Tornado is actually pretty sweet. There he is. He's dead. He dead. That was easy enough. No, he's not dead. Go get him, Ice Tornado. Alright, well, at least I'm leveling up the, uh, the pistol that I have here. Hey, now. Come on. Come on, Captain. Or Lieutenant. Luft Luftenant. Come on now. Come on, guys. You're supposed to be slow. Hollow Mans are not supposed to be this fast. Oh, jeez. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Are you almost dead? Alright, I'm gonna do another summon because that distracted them for a while. I do kind of like that shock spell that he's got going on. I think, does that kill him? That did not kill him yet. All right, I got this. Let's take out his guys. Those Hobbs, those brave, brave Hobbs are still like alive somehow. There it is. That's game. Man, Jammy. Rest in peace, buddy. Damn impressive. So, your mother wasn't the last hero of Albion after all. We did it. Oh, really? We did. Let the poets tell our epic tale. The Swift Brigade fought against impossible odds. They won the end. Well, Sir Walter, you didn't do too bad for an old man. Neither did you for a buffoon. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was just like old times, Walter. Just like old times. So, what do you say? Will you join us? With your help, we can put a stop to Logan's madness. Bring back the real Albion army. I swore to serve my king to the death. We all did. But this isn't the way it was meant to be. The old guard has been shoved aside, and these new soldiers Logan's been gathering, they don't care about this land or its people. Yeah, and I bet they get paid more. Walter has absolute faith in you. And after seeing you in action, so do I. All I ask is that you make a soldier's oath. Let your armies protect the people instead of oppressing them. Bring honor back to this uniform. Yeah, and don't forget the pay rise. Shut up, Ben. Uh, yeah, I think we can do that. Uh, also, the loot guy died in that battle. Rest in peace. I promise. I have to hold A and let go to promise. promise. <laughs> Am I getting taller? Or is Major Swift just very tiny? I hereby promise to appoint Major Swift as leader of the Royal Army. I didn't promise that. I promised the army to protect the people. Hmm. 
Anyway. Anyway. Alright, into the portal. Hopefully I can upgrade my magic spells. I'm ready for that vortex and the ice to rain fury down upon my enemies. This has been a momentous day. With the support of Major Swift and his soldiers, the revolution grows in strength, and you move one step closer to becoming the leader this kingdom needs. Roy, Roy. Let's go ahead and pop out there. What do we got? We got a lot of chests here. What is this? Bully expression pack? Uh, sure. You know, sometimes you just gotta be a bully. Uh, maybe before spending my seals, I should go check the, uh, the ones on the right. The ones on the right are the weapon upgrades. Okay, so we need to really, uh... So those cost a hundred. Magic, level three. Sweet. It only costs sixty. I, I am a liar. At sixty. Thank you. Uh, I need to figure out the, uh, the weapon upgrades as well. Um, I'm gonna try... I need to, uh, I need to do some stuff. Uh... I just need to go, like, donate a ton of money and make some friends and do some friendly expressions to some villagers and whatnot. Uh, and hopefully I'll get the, uh, the hilt that I want. Uh, and then we can upgrade, uh, the, uh, level 2 and whatnot. Uh, might have to do that on the, um, uh, just off camera, because it's going to take a lot of work. Um, I don't necessarily think that I really need... Um, like the job skills just yet, so I'm gonna hold off on those. I'm gonna hold off on those. I haven't really done. I haven't done any jobs off camera, um, thus far. But I kind of I'm interested in a theft pack, <laughs> just in case I need to break open a uh, door or something or, you know, something along those lines. Uh, okay. Uh, if I go out of here, will that cut it, uh, do another cutscene? I think it will. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna end things off in here, uh, and then walk through that gate, uh, next episode. Next episode, I think, uh, we're gonna take a look around and see what, uh, side quests can be done. If nothing, we'll just go ahead and, uh, move forward with the main story mission. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you did enjoy it, please definitely leave a like and a comment below. It helps me out quite a bit. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed already. I do put out daily gaming videos, so be sure to do that so you don't miss anything. And I will see you guys on the next episode.